Now let's talk how to set up a Next.js project. If you are familiar with React, then you know that there is a create React app that lets you spin up the project from the start with some pre-made config. And Next.js has the same concept called create next app that lets you spin up next application with zero configuration, but also gives you the option to extend the config or update it or change it if you choose to. And that's exactly what I've used in this demo to spin it up. I will include the final files or the starting files at the bottom of this unit. And in this video, I just wanted to go over the commands that I took to get us there. So if you are familiar with how to set up Next.js project and install Tailwind CSS, you can clone the repo and skip to the next unit. Firstly, I've created the repo using the GitHub CLI. So GH repo create and the name of the repo. Then I went inside of the folder and use the create next app with the dot, which means it creates this, it spins up the Next.js app in the current directory. After that, if it's successful, you would get the three commands that you can run. And yarn dev will spin up the development server on the localhost 3000. So if you would visit browser at that point, you would see the welcome screen, the default, the default homepage of the default Next.js app, which has a couple interesting and useful links to documentation, learning resources, examples, and deployment guide. By default, Next.js comes with CSS modules. That's what the default page is using. In our demo, I choose to use Tailwind CSS. And you can also use style components, style the JSX or Emotion. There's multiple ways how you can style your components inside of Next.js app. I chose Tailwind CSS. So I've removed some of the default style sheets and installed Tailwind CSS by following the Tailwind CSS installation guide. This is the npm command. And the second one will give us the Tailwind config, the default or the empty Tailwind config. And then I've also created the full config just so we have a reference to all the options and we see what we can overwrite. So there are two Tailwind configs. One is the main one that is used by the app and the other one that is only used for the reference later on. Then I've created the SRC folder and moved the pages and the styles inside of it. So that was the next move. Then I've created the Tailwind CSS file with the three Tailwind layers, the default layers, and linked it inside of the app JS component inside of the pages. Okay, so the underscore app.js links the Tailwind CSS. And the last bit of the setup was to update the content of the page, simply removing the default styles, the default style sheet, and changing the markup of the main component or of the main HTML tag to be in the middle of the viewport with the logo and H1. So if you clone the repository at the bottom, you would see a page exactly like this. Okay, so this is our starting point, simple logo with H1 centered on the page. And then I pushed everything to GitHub by creating a simple commit and pushing the branch to origin. As I said, it's nice and easy for you. All you have to run is the git clone command that will get the starting branch from the repository. Okay, and you should be at exactly the same point as I am at the moment and will continue coding in the next video. Okay, make sure you go to the Next.js one-on-one convert kit folder, install all the dependencies, run yarn dev, and you should see page like this. And of course, in the browser, you would see the same folder structure that we've just talked about, the pages and styles is moved to the source folder. And I'm also including some icons that we'll use later on. And inside of the public, there should be assets folder with a logo and a cover image. Okay, so these are images that we'll use later on. You don't have to worry about it for now, but just so you're not surprised where they come from, they know the default files from the create next.js app. That's what I've set up. 
so I don't have to link to it later on. And that's pretty much it. We'll cover in the next video exactly the whole setup of the Next.js and how you can be in charge of the all HTML. So for now, this is the starting point. I'm switching to recording branch and that's exactly in the same point as the starting branch at the moment. After each video, I'll be making a commit with some comments. So if you get lost throughout the course, feel free to refer to the recording branch, find the right commit and copy some of the code.